Hi, I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas, Beverly Hills, California, and today I want to share some exciting new research that our group has published. We published it in the journal Thyroid, which is an internationally recognized journal for both endocrinologists and ophthalmologists. And it deals with the most common side effect of Tepeza that people at least ask me about, and that is hearing changes that can occur with the treatment of Tepeza for thyroid eye disease. So let's take this step by step. What did the research show and how did we do it? So first, the research was done of 50 patients who were being treated with Tepeza. We did audiology testing and symptom testing of all these patients before, during, and then six months after treatment with Tepeza so that we could identify the common symptoms that occur from hearing changes with Tepeza and to notice real changes in their audiology. Sometimes patients don't even notice changes in hearing, but we can detect it by audiology. Now, what did we find? Well, in this study, which is the largest of its kind and is receiving a lot of attention, what we found is that if you come in and have no hearing changes at baseline, meaning that you have normal audiology, which we do here in the office as part of a baseline testing, then your chances are less than 3% of having any change. Only one of 32 patients who had normal baseline hearing had any change in their audiology, and frankly, they weren't even symptomatic. They didn't even realize it, that they had these changes. Now, of the other 20 patients, about half of those um, experienced changes uh, that were due to Tepeza and experienced hearing changes. Now what that means is if you don't have a normal baseline hearing test, then it's very possible that Tepeza could affect your hearing and that that could be more long-term. What does this mean for doctors and treating physicians? Well, for us, we do baseline audiology testing and follow the patients and look at that testing throughout the treatment period. And if there are changes, we discuss it with the patients as whether we should stop treatment and then allow it to come back to normal or what to do. So for physicians, it's really important to do baseline audiology testing so that you know the starting point for patients and can predict which patients might have a problem and do audiology throughout the period of Tepeza treatment to follow these patients. Now, if you're a patient, what should you know? Well, it's important you have to really consider Tepeza and hearing changes. As we've shown, the hearing changes are relatively uncommon, especially if you have normal hearing to start with, and they can be stopped meaning we can stop treatment, we can extend treatment, we can recognize these changes at a very early stage and really kind of prevent the sequela that can occur. So while hearing changes in Tepeza is a very real concern, it should also be known that we can really kind of control and, and monitor the progress of this drug and its effect upon the hearing. So I wouldn't let it interfere or stop you from having Tepeza, but you really have to go in with the knowledge um, and go to a great center such as one of our centers in Thrive where we exclusively do audiology on everyone looking for this side effect. I hope this is helpful. I hope it paints a better picture of the side effect that is most commonly asked by me in regards to Tepeza.